Hey guys and welcome back to the channel, I'm Zemo the Dad in DPS and we're back with another Fallout 76 video. Now I posted a tweet yesterday, I'm going to bring up on the screen for you guys to see. Is it there? Yeah. That. Hmm. Either way, um, the problems have been found already and the first one that I'm going to discuss is involving kind of the Scorch Beast Queen, but not really. It's sort of to do with the area in which she spawns and the quest itself. Now, there are issues with fast traveling to this specific area, which are causing people to crash out of the game, and as a result, causing people to basically not be able to get into the server, and if they've launched a nuke, lose out in the nuke. Um, so if you do need to get to the Scorch Beast Queen, what I would recommend is traveling to locations nearby the area. The one I've been using is the Watoga uh, train station. I've not had a crash out yet. So tra uh, traveling to Watoga and then walking to the actual uh, queen site would be the best kind of thing to think about. The next one is involving legacy weapons. Now it is came with the patch that uh, legacy weapons are now bananas again and they completely annihilate everything. Yeah, they've done that again. It's, it's absolutely stupid. Um, they've taken out weapons that were apparently doing way too much damage than... Well, not taken out weapons. Fixed a bug that weapons were doing way too much damage with. And now we're left with weapons doing insane damage again. So I'm going to show you the build I'm using and the specific weapon I'm going to be using and what it does to the Scorch Beast Queen. Cue footage. So here is the offending weapon. It is a bloodied... Bullets is both for air damage, faster reload, and um, Gatling Plasma. Uh, it is an absolutely insane weapon at giving any time when you play this game. However, right now, it is a god killer. And then we have the actual build for my uh, gun itself. As you can see, we have just a standard heavy build. We've got a bunch of different perks on there for boosting heavy damage, explosive damage, explosive range, and just damage in general. It's all heavy based, um, using power armor, stabilized, that sort of thing. So it's pretty standard. There's nothing special about it. Uh, so think what you will. So the only real way to show what exactly is wrong with this weapon is to, well, film me fighting the Scorch Beast Queen on my own. So I've launched a nuke. Yeah, I know. Um, Tim will be very surprised. And we're going to take on the Queen all by our lonesome. Which should be interesting. In a normal circumstance, I, with this type of weapon, probably nothing amazing. But at the same time, you know, it's nothing to, to laugh at either our health bar will be significantly lower. Now, I don't know if you could see that, the amount of health bar. Like, look at a regular Scorch Beast. Doesn't stand a damn chance against me. The Queen, on the other hand, is usually much bigger of a threat. But look at this. Look at our health bar. Look at it going down. Now, if I could get her to come down onto the floor, you'd see the full extent of how stupid this is. I'm trying to lure her down and they're with everything I've got and you're seeing the damage coming off her 92, 92, 92 like it's an insane amount of damage per shot and this is glancing blows that I'm deliver delivering to her she's not getting the full burst of this weapon because she's not down on the ground and when she does decide to finally land what the hell do you think is going to happen? because I know exactly what's going to happen. She is not going to last very long at all. We'll just keep whittling on her. And honestly, at this rate, she's going to die before she even lands. This is the kind of problem with the Queen. If she decides not to play ball and legs it away from me, there's not a lot I can do about it. Um, she is a really, really annoying boss. But this weapon should not be doing this insane... <coughs> pardon me, amount of damage. Um, it shouldn't be as ridiculous as it is. And unfortunately, that is what it is. God damn it. I hate that freaking attack. Yeah, land. Land, you giant turd. I mean, look at how quickly she's going down. She's not even landed yet. Solo. And I've managed to take her down to literally her 
base HP and then now she's down the ground I can just volley her with every shot I can get and she's just dying super quick I mean she's hitting me in the face I'll heal up just so that she doesn't kill me it's not letting me use my uh, thing but yeah look at that health look at how ridiculous this thing is I mean what the hell Bethesda what the hell <laughs> yeah no one can argue this isn't OP so that's tonight's video guys um hope you enjoyed it if you did don't forget to leave a like comment and subscribe what do you think about this uh, are you thinking this is done on purpose or if this is them breaking something else uh, and then there's going to be other problems down the line obviously traveling to the Scottish Beast Queen is a pain in the butt one way around it is you could easily just do Errol instead. Um, I mean, if you've got a legacy, you're going to kill him very quickly anyway. So there is that. Either way, it's not good that they've done something stupid again. But that is what it is. And I'll catch you all next time in the Wasteland.